Well, I'm, uh, I work for the University of Oxford, and I uh, research a field of cancer medicine which involves uh, nuclear medicine. Uh, they gave the vaccine uh, literally 24 hours ago. Um, so I, I will have regular blood checks um, so they can check how my immune system is responding to the vaccine. Um, and also there will be, I have to give uh, a regular temperature checks uh, to ensure that um, I have developed any symptoms or any sort of side effects that related to the vaccine or actually coronavirus. Because they want to ensure that at the first the first time they're giving the vaccine to human volunteers, they have to ensure that they're a bit healthy. My breathing's all fine. There's no worrying sort of medical histories or um, and that, um, yes, that I'm uh, fit and able. I'm, from reading the, uh, the literature and the science behind the Oxford Steam's work, um, that's been working, they've been working on this for many years, I was confident that it had a good chance um, to be a good vaccine against coronavirus. Just for simple pragmatic reasons, they want to have people uh, locally around the site. Uh, so they emailed out to people who are working at the university um, because you have to go in regularly to give uh, bloods and to uh, be monitored. Um, so I found out through a um, through university uh, email. I think um, when it comes to any sort of side effects of the vaccine, uh, they are going to be very little compared to coronavirus itself. Um, it's a very nasty disease, and so if I was worried about the vaccine, I'm more worried about the coronavirus. So I have a log that I have to fill in online, um, so they have all the data centrally collected, um, but also I'll have to go in because I'm a local, but I'll have to go in to get some blood tests. Uh, I, I don't uh, directly, um, but I think everyone is uh, indirectly affected. Um, I, I From Australia, I think we're quite fortunate that it is quite... Uh, it's not as widespread, um, so I'm grateful for that. Um, I'm sympathetic for the uh, um, for everybody and, and the, the such a horrible um, disease that really, I think also the fact that you get cut off from your family at such a, a perilous time is very hard. Um, and so whatever I can do to help, I, I'm trying to do.